What's the chow chin chow? It's Josh PH Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Diamond Randomized Metroid Run Challenge. In the last episode, we arrived here in Veilstone City, I believe this is. Let me go into Pokemon Center and then back out to check. Yeah, this is Veilstone City. Alright, so I was right in the first place. And off screen, I have picked up two brand new members to the team. So let's see them already. So, let's see. First off, we have Gore, our ground type, which is a naughty nature with Rock Blast, Tail Whip, Stomp, and Fury Attack, level 30. Not bad. Then we have Viscera, level 23 with Harden, Mud Sport, Water Gun, and Metal Claw. Viscera is our Rock type, so I'm actually really excited to be using it in a Moldo. So, that's going to be really cool. Then we have New Day, our... Uh, our Charizard, our Fire type, level 30 with Scratch, Dragon Rage, Ember, and Fire Fang. Then we have AJ Lee, level 28, with Astonish, Gust, Stockpile, and Payback. Then we have Tommaso, our Fighting type, the Machamp, named after Tommaso Champa, a very, very famous independent wrestler. Anyway, so uh, he's got Karate Shop, Foresight, Seismic Toss, and Revenge. And we have Rollins. Our Psychic type with Slash, Confusion, Fury Cutter, and Swords Dance. Now, somehow, accidentally during grinding, I accidentally leveled up quite a bit too much than I actually wanted to. I actually leveled eight levels instead of fives. Maybe because of some strange reason that everyone just kept on leveling up and I couldn't stop them from leveling up, so... In the next step, grinding montage, I'm only allowed to use three levels. That is my punishment for the next episode, for the end of this episode. I'm only allowed to grind three levels. I may not even grind in the next episode because of this, but we will honestly see. Anyway, so I'm going to start the timer. Let's go. Now I've extend. Now one of the things I've done for this uh, series is I've tried to extend the timer because the fact is I'm realizing now I've never had an episode that's gone in in time. It's supposed to be a 20 minute timer, but I've never had an episode since this has started that's actually been 20 minutes. So I've extended the timer to 30, so hopefully now I'll get an episode that comes in time of it. Joe, are you going to take on the gym challenge? Gee, it's you're getting tougher. You're getting tougher together and tougher. You're getting tougher and tougher, aren't didn't, don't you? You keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Well, I went shopping at the department store and... Well, of course I've been working on my Pokedex too, but... I'll catch you later. Okay. So there's something she's not telling me. Anyway. Hey, today we're going to be taking on the fighting type gym. Right here in Veilstone City. So... This gym puzzle is a quite an interesting one, and I'm glad this is probably one of the last times I have to play with this gym puzzle, because I kind of hate it. It's kind of annoying. So, I'm glad that this is one of the last times I have to play for it. Really we am. We are the Karate Cords. I will strike a blow for tears. And with my fist. Ah, tears! Okie dokie. So, let's see what one of these Karate Cords has. Peace Squad Esteban. That's a Seedra. Almost makes me wish I actually had my fighting type, uh, my electric type Pokemon with me right now. Yeah. I'm a little worried. Okay, agility's fine. I'm not so worried anymore. Just take this stomp. You're already faster than me. You don't need to make yourself faster than me because Gore's quite slow. Take the stomp and. Okay, you did take that stomp. Cool. That's annoying. Focus energy. Okay, you're going to get all the crits in the world now. But I'm pretty sure I can still handle you. At this moment in time, you haven't shown me any water attacks, so I'm just going to rock blast you. Because it's the only stab move I have right now, and it's still a pretty powerful move. I wish I had a ground type move right now. Ooh, nice. Suck it out. Soak what for your <laughs> super effective moves? You don't use them, you don't. You lose them. An executor. Now. I've actually only got two types left to catch now. We've got a grass type and a flying type. Hopefully we'll catch them by the end of the next episode, probably. 
and we'll see what we can get hold of because I really would like to have both grass and flying sorted because they're very interesting typings. There's actually some really good Pokemon in those typings. In fact, a few of my favorite Pokemon are in those typings, so I wouldn't mind picking up a few of them. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up a few of them because I really want to pick up like something like James would be amazing right now. James the Venusaur would be amazing. Yes, sure, we've used the Venusaur before several times, and Venusaur is still amazing. I love Venusaur. So, Venusaur, definitely something I want to pick up. Okay, Barrage is fine. I should live Barrage. Especially since you missed Hypnosis twice. You're going to die now, Executor, eventually. Hopefully. Yep. Three hits. Okay, you're dead. And that should be G, -E -G when I actually finish you. There we go. Executor down. All right. So I'm going to have to bring in my next two. I'm going to have to bring in the other two Pokemon now. Okay, so let's bring in Tomasa. I'm really actually kind of worried about Tomasa because I don't know when I'm going to be grinding him up because he's level 22. He's quite far behind, but he's quite... He's got a load of fighting type moves right now, so as long as we can find someone that's weak to fighting types, we'll be fine. What you got for me, mate? You got a slow king. That's not exactly helpful with Tomasa out on the field. Yeah, that's really not helpful with Tomasa out on the field. Uh, seismic toss. If you have killed me like confusion, Tomas is going to die, but I I feel like I should be okay to hit you with at least one move. To m disable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. On that note, I switch out. Come on, AJ Lee. And we'll go into AJ Lee and we'll use a payback. Because I think Sloking can go down to a payback. Ah, you missed your headbutt because this is a ghost type. Aha! Now payback, and let's see what happens. I'm actually really enjoying this series so far. It in, it could go a bit faster. I mean, only able to record this on Saturday, well, only able to uh, put this up on Saturdays makes it really hard for me to record this. So yeah, I probably would like to put this up more days. I mean, this is going to be one of my last series on this PC. So hopefully, it goes really well. And you guys are, seem to be okay with the. Uh, the whole Metroid run process, and one of these days I probably will continue on the series of Metroid runs. We'll probably do black and white eventually, we'll probably do some other Metroid runs eventually. There's a much that's coming in, so I can go back into the Mossa, and I think Tomossa can kill this. And I really like using the wrestling name themes for this game, uh, for this uh, playthrough, because I never get a chance to do names from my Pokemon after wrestlers, and that's really cool, because I love that idea. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying that more often, because I love the in themes. Nice crit! Well done, Samosa! <laughs> Three levels ahead and you just destroy. Alright, and a Canopy. Well, let's go into Viscera. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's a, ca it's a Canopy, it's not going to do too much damage to me. So, Viscera can game, come in here, and now he's an official part of the team now. He can receive grinding now. He's been in a battle, especially if he kills this Pokemon. Uh, let's go for Metal Claw. It would help if you hit Viscera. No? Okay. That did, like, barely any damage there, uh, did Canopy. So, kill it, please, Viscera. Show you all the superior Bug-type Pokemon. Okay, String Shot. Okay, I think one more Metal Claw should kill. I don't actually know what kind of moves Viscera learns, because I haven't looked at Amaldo's moveset, so I don't know if what kind of uh, Rock-type moves he learns, or what kind of rock uh, Bug-type moves he learns by level up. And I might have to see what TMs we've got in play for us to use, because TMs are pretty useful too. There you go, Canopy. Alright, nice work, Viscera. Well, I can't say nice work, it's a canopy. I mean, the randomizer's being nice to me again, and I just kind of don't like that one. Whatever my next randomizer, if I ever do a randomizer again, I kind of want to make sure that it's like 
I don't know, match team strength so I don't have to deal with this just a canopy. For this challenge, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, canopy, I feel like that's something I need to sort out for the next uh, randomizer that I do. You can kill this, right, Tomasa? With a karate chop? Ooh, crit. That's not cool. And maybe you might only get hit three times. No, hit four. Come on, don't. I hit four times, that's fine. One karate shot should kill. Because you're, quad you're weak to this. And you're not very defensive, so you're dead. Nice work, Tomasa. Level 23, alright. I was a bit worried about bringing you in, but like, you found your ways, alright. Now, can I remember how to do this uh, gym? Can I remember how to do this gym? Because I, I think it's like just push all these uh, little blocks into place. That's all it is about this gym. Just push them into place and make sure they're out of the way. So you can actually get through this gym. That's probably the best way of explaining this. Also, it's best not to run in here just in case you make a mistake. But I think this should be okay. So you push that aside there. And push this one aside over there. And if we throw that over there, we should be fine to get to the back of that. Get to the back section of there. And we face the final trainer in here before we go and face the gym leader. What have you got for me, mate? You've got a Steelix. Again, I'm pretty sure Tomasa can handle this. A uh, Karate Chop? And this should do a lot of damage to Steelix. The Steelix is quite defensive, but it did actually that work nicely. Sandstorm, oh, that's going to be annoying. But I think we should be okay. It's just residual, it'll be fine. You know, it's like four damage a turn, that's fine. Especially since Steelix has one of the worst attack stats in the game, because it's based on Onyx's attack stats, which is worse than Oddish's attack stat. Rock Tomb. I should be fine. Yeah, that did barely anything. And it's not very effective too, so I resist that, that's cool. I'm actually trying to work on showdown teams now because the fact is I want to get in. I'm bringing this showdown series to the channel very, very soon. So probably next week actually I'll be bringing a showdown series to the channel, and I really want this series to go off without a hitch. I really want to learn how to showdown battle and how to wipe how to battle in general, really. So in the next few weeks you will see me battle on Friday nights against some of my friends and possibly some subscribers too. If you guys want to battle me, let me know in the comment section down below or tweet me on, uh, on Twitter at Games. Please let me know if you want to battle me because I will battle anyone and everyone really. That's what I will do. I will battle people. I want to battle people. I want to gain experience. I want to enter one of those battle leagues. So, the more experience I have, the better chance of me entering one of those leagues, and the better chance of me coming out with a win in those battle leagues. And I'm not trying to look like a trophy win or anything like that, so I can win a championship or anything like that. But what I would like is just like, I'd like, a, like at least a 1 0 victory or something like that. I don't want to go into one of these battle leagues and then again get demolished each and every week 6 0. Because that'd be awful, and that's what I'd be right now if I don't get some experience and don't get my uh, ideas of building teams together. Because I'm building teams, I know how to, I know how to do a few things in a, uh, I know how to do a few things, but I don't know how to like build teams and select mons that work well with each other. I try my hardest to pick the mons I like, but that's not always the best option. That's not always the best idea to pick the mons you like. Especially in Battle Leagues, it's not always the best option to pick the mons you like, it's always the options to maybe just like pick the mons you don't like or like pick mons that are interesting to you. I mean, for example, I'm trying out, I want to try out Landorus, T Landorus Theorem form, because Landorus is actually a really good Pokemon core, leveled up to level 31 there, not bad. And uh, Landorus is one of those Pokemon I saw at Worlds. Uh, 
being used quite a lot of the time at Worlds. It has that really good boost there. It's just a really good Pokemon, and I would really like to see if I could use it properly as well. Landorus seems like one of those Pokemon that could be really interesting to use. So that's one of the Pokemon I'm trying out for this series. I'm also going to be trying out a lot of other Pokemon, and I'll be allowed. I'm going to allow you guys to make suggestions throughout the entire series on what Mons I can bring in and what strategies and I can use and how I can improve my strategies for this series. So because I want to make sure that I'm a good battler, I want to give you guys some of the best battles. And I want to make sure that I have interesting battles for you guys to watch. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're up for a battle series on the channel. Of course, let me know if you want to battle me because the more experience I get, the better. So let me know if you want to battle me because battling is cool, and I want to try bat. I want to try some battling. And once my get my new PC, I could be doing some X and Y Wi-Fi battles on the channel too. But I don't know. I, I mean, I have decided on my new PC. I'm waiting for LPs to uh, like stop before we can uh, before we go into do the. Uh, I probably should go and heal. So I'm gonna go and heal, and then we're going to face. Uh, then we're going to face uh, Maylene. I'm waiting for LPs to finish. So when Pokemon Christmas is finished, when the sim. Uh, when I decided to stop playing the, sim the me, uh, Sims Medieval and stuff like that. I know we're only like four episodes into the Sims Medieval, but like I do want to move on to the Sims 4 eventually. And when we get my new PC, that is what the plan is. So we can move on to the Sims 4. We can record even more content. Mystery Dungeons, uh, probably almost getting near the end now. It's like somewhere near the midway points, probably. I don't know. I, I really don't know. That game is really long. That game is really, really long. So I don't exactly know when that game finishes. So I think we should just go and face uh, Maylene. And that should be it for today's episode. Because I don't think we'll need to do anything else. I honestly don't think we'll need to do anything else. But I think I'm going to put New Day up in front. Just in case. Now, Tomas has had his levels. Uh, Tomas has had his battles. And so has the other. Po uh, so has our other Pokemon, too. So hopefully we'll be okay to take on this gym now. Oh, the puzzles are set. Alright. Fine. Hang on a sec. We need to go and sort out this puzzle again. Oh, if I push this to this side, and then I can get to that one, okay? And then we push it to the other side, okay? That's how we do it. There we go. Push that to the other side now. There we go. Up here. And I think... That's... No, no, that's not it. I need to go around here and then push this across. So if I push that across and then get rid of this one here... We can go. We can go back on ourselves round here. I know I don't like I'm talking to, about this puzzle, but it's a very good puzzle. It's an interesting puzzle. I mean, to tell you the truth, I much prefer the platinum puzzle for this gym, but it's a good puzzle. It's just interesting. And one of these days we will play platinum on this channel. Just I don't know when we're going to be playing platinum on this channel. I have no idea. For, like, I just haven't planned that far ahead, and like, I have a few ideas of what I want my next LPs to be. But I'm not one of those YouTubers who can plan their like entire year schedule in one like one session. I can't do that. I'm not very good at that. It's just really hard for me to plan like my next four or five LPs. It's just really hard to do that. I know like some people have planned their LPs, but I can't do that. I'm not very good at planning my LPs. I plan to bring you guys good content, but like I don't know whether you're gonna. Go in it's what I think you might uh, you might enjoy, not what you might enjoy in my personal opinion, but we'll honestly see. Anyway, let's go and face Maylene. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene, I'm the gym leader here. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader, but I will do my best as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously. Whenever you're ready, all right, Maylene, our third gym leader. Let's get this done. Okay, you have a spinder to start this off with. I could have stayed in with Tomasa now. 
I don't realize I could have stayed with Tomasa and hit you with some karate chops. You know what? I'm going back into Tomasa. But Spinder's just normal type. I know you can learn some psychic type moves, but it's unlikely you'll have them. Okay, you almost put me to sleep. That would be really annoying. Copycat? I haven't done anything to you yet. What are you trying to learn? You can't learn... Oh, you're trying to, you're trying to hit me with hypnosis again. And you still miss! Annoyingly, Spinder, you still miss. If I can hit you one more time with one more karate chop, you are dead. Oh, like, maybe you'll just heal. Okay, fine, whatever. I can't heal, but you can. That's annoying. One more karate chop and you're dead. Fain attack? I'm not... I resist that. I resist Fain attack. So what was the point in you even trying that? There you go. Die. That was a crit. All right, Tomasa. Way to pull yourself off in this gym fight. All right. Level 24. And you have a Lickitung. I want to stay in. I'm going to stay in. And if you're a normal type, if you're just going to have some normal type Pokemon, I'm just going to stay in and karate shot them all. I outspeed this Lickitung. Despite the fact I'm several levels behind it, I outspeed it. So I'm just going to keep on going. Wrap, missed, and just go for it. Karate shot. This Lickitung's dead. As far as I'm concerned, this has been an easy gym match for Tabasa over here. And let's see what your final Pokemon is. Well, I'm getting a lot of experience there. Swampert. Okay, that is something that Tomasa can't take out. And I don't have anything that can take that out. Damn it. Actually, <laughs> that's kind of hard to take out. Uh, let's just go with AJ Lee? Yeah, let's go with AJ Lee. I can't think of anything I can use to take this out with because I don't have my ice type with me, which is the only thing I can think of that actually will do some damage here. Okay, so let's go for the Gust. Let's see if that, what that does damage-wise. Hopefully, sh no, I didn't do anything. Oh, God damn it, that's annoying. And now you foresight, you can see me. Okay, that's fine. Can I hit payback on you? Bide. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I should have stockpiled. Now I don't have the ability to stockpile, so I'm just going to have to keep on hitting you and sadly kiss goodbye to AJ Lee for this episode. That's annoying. Bide is annoying, and I don't know why you learned Bide. Yes, you're in a bit of a bind, and so am I. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Can I hit payback and I'll do more damage now? Because you hit me with more damage? No, nah, it doesn't work like that. Okay. Can you stop using bide? I, I don't even know if you're going to use bide, and then I realize you use bide, and then I'm going to get destroyed again. Although, one more payback and you're dead. You're storing energy, you're dead. You're dead. As long as I hit this, you're dead. And down goes a Swampert. Alright! And AJ Lee almost goes to level 29, but didn't get it just. Oh, I admit defeat. You're much too strong. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. We got the Cobble Badge! And I should explain about that badge. It is an official Pokemon League gym badge. If you have the fit and move fly, you'll be able to use it outside the battle. Oh, please take this as well. TM60, that would usually be Drain Punch, but what is it in this game? Power Whip. All right. That is actually rather interesting. I like Power Whip. It's a good move. It's a shame I don't have a Grass-type Pokemon to teach it to. Joe. Hi, Joe. Can you please help me out? I dropped my Pokedex near the Team Galactic building and Team Galactic found it. 
Uh, they won't give it back. I need your help, please. I'll be waiting outside the warehouses. Please come. Alright, fine. I'll help you out, Dawn. We beg I get better get something good out of this, you know, I mean the HM for fly is pretty cool, but I don't really have a flying type Pokemon just yet. And I I guess I could teach it to Charizard. But I don't really need it just yet. I mean fly is gonna be really useful once we get that fourth gym badge. Because once we get to Pastoria to, uh, Pastoria City, we just fly back to Heart Home, challenge that gym, and then we face and then we go back to uh, Jubilee, go across the Steel type gym leader, face him. Who well he won't be steel type in this game because it's randomized. And then we can just fly back to Ju I think we fly back to a Turner from there and sort out the late problems and then go on to the seventh gym. So you brought your buddy along. How uh, so you think you can get your Pokedex back? We'll be happy to send you crying back home to your mummies. Fine. Hi Joe, can you please help me? Yeah, I know, I know. Please, I will. I heard you before. I'm going to help you. We're going to help you. We're going to stop these people from doing their dirty deeds. All we need to do is beat their ass, and that is going to be it for today's episode. So, let's see what you got. You got a Totodile and a Spiro. Okay. You have a Ladian? Oh my god, Dawn. Oh, if I have to get rid of this Totodile, I really have to get rid of this Totodile. I'm really worried about the Totodile. But, Totodile is gonna get... Reflect! Dawn, seriously, reflect! Okay, and Aerial Ace on the Ladian. There's a car going past my window, it's annoying me. Now that we're still, like, all the damage to Ladian. Ladian is dead now. Ice Fang and Ladian's dead. Ladian's dead. Ladian's dead. That's a crit! Oh my god! Dawn, why do you have a Ladian? There we go, a Flaffy! That is such a better, that's such a much more better typing for us to deal with here. I'm gonna go to Scratch. On this Totodile. Try and take it out. Oh my god, I almost killed it. I almost killed the Totodile. That does nothing to me, the Spiro. And there we go, there's the Totodile gone. I'm happy. I don't have to worry about that darn Totodile aqua jetting me anymore. And it didn't actually try to hit me with any moves. Oh my god, you have a Polyrath. Dawn, we need to get rid of this. Dragon Rage, the Polyrath. We need to get rid of this Polyrath like, right now, before it does any kind of damage to me. I need this Polyrath gone. Bubble Beam! Oh my god, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. This is not a Nuzlocke, this is not a Nuzlocke! Oh my god, that was a crit! Don't you dare attack- oh my god, you attacked me. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't attack me. Alright, fine. Well done, Dawn, you're actually being smart. Now, you weren't being smart before, but you were, you're being smart now. I still want to carry and get rid of this uh, Polyrath before it does any more damage to me. Down it goes. Alright. New Day gains experience and pursuit. Okay, I'm not planning to switch out. Oof. I actually might plan on switching out now. But this Spiro should go down to this. Nice. And what is your final Pokemon? What is the final Pokemon? Unknown. Unknown A. Okay. I'm going to go Fire Fang. Because Unknowns don't have very much defense at all, so I'm fine. I can stay in on Unknown. One shot. There you go. We beat Tira Mike. That done in by two kids. That is right. I should have expected to keep... I should have kept my head down, that's all. Oh, this stinks. Our Pokemon were chumps. We can get new ones from the headquarters. Ah, oh, who cares about this Pokedex anyway? Team Galactic's gonna own all the Pokemon in the world one day. You'll see. No, in the universe, too. Here, take it. Take your Pokedex back. 
Those things we had in the warehouse, we've already moved to Pastoria anyway. We'll say you will get yours and run like the grunts we are. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out on the streets uh, in this place? Joe, thank you sincerely. If Professor Rowan ever finds out I lost that Pokedex, oh, I don't want to think about it. So Joe, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to Pastoria City now. The Great Marsh is a great home to many kinds of Pokemon. Well, I'm going to end this episode. Just let me go and get the uh, TM for... Uh, fly. There you go. Got the HM for Fly. I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to talk to this guy. I'm going to see if I can get in here. Nope. Okay, fine. And now I will run back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and that will be the end of today's episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode where we took on uh, Veilstone City and we got our third gym badge, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're excited to see some new showdown battles on the channel very, very soon as we start our road to being in a league, uh, to start our road to a league-based team. I really excited to bring some showdown battles to you let me know if you want to uh, battle me in the comment section down below but until next time i'm just ph games and i am out see you again